G'day, it's Jamie, and welcome to Where's My Yowie. Today I'm going to talk about Limpenwood Yowie sighting that I had. Um, I'm just doing some extra stuff on stuff that I remembered that I left out of the first video that I did. And so here's a bit more stuff, and I'll just give you a quick recap of this. This happened out at Limpenwood in the Tweed Valley over two winters, 2012 and 2013. This thing would walk up and down the side of the house. I'd hear the footsteps. It would scrape something up and down the side of the house, would scare the hell out of me. I thought I was going mad at one stage until I saw it. Anyway, so if you haven't seen Yowie Siding at Limpenwood, please watch that and then watch, watch this or watch that afterwards, whichever way. But here's just a few other things that I've left out. The whoop whoop sounds, you know, whoop, whoop, which I can't do really well, but uh, more high pitched than that, which are associated with Yowies. I just hear them all the time. And I'd never lived out in the country before that. I'd always lived in the city, so to speak. And I just assumed that they were birds. And after watching and hearing a lot of the Yowie videos, I now question what was I actually hearing? Because I'd hear them all the time. And I just assumed they were birds. Anyway, so then tree breaks and tree falls. Same again, I didn't know, I was never lived in the country before, I didn't know any better. You'd hear tree breaks and tree falls so many nights, it wasn't funny. I just assumed it was just a natural part of living in the country. But you'd hear them, they were quite loud. And one night, a tree got knocked over and fell on the house. And it was about 20 foot tall tree. This was a really healthy tree. Cause I know because I had to cut it cut it apart to get it off the side of the house and I have no idea what caused it to fall down I still to this day am baffled by that it's always had me intrigued but yeah I used to hear tree breaks and tree falls and the whoop whoop sounds all the time and because I didn't know any better I just thought that was just natural bush towns also I used to hear howling from the top of the mountain top of bald mountain all the time of a night time uh, and it sounded like there was a pack of wolves up there some nights it was amazing uh, I assumed it was dingoes because I'd seen a couple of dingoes around the area but I still to this day have no idea what it was and then when I'd always hear the footsteps and the scraping uh, as I said earlier in another video I had the curtains closed most of the time and so I never saw what was making the noise but one window on the bedroom that I was in because it was on the corner of the house the window that faced the front of the house had a security light out the front and that security light never ever went off not once when this thing was walking up and down the house so I don't know I've been it's been suggested to me that on previous occasions before you even heard it it probably tested what the limits of the security light were but it never went off once because I could have I would have seen it going off through the other bedroom window and it never went off also I had two dogs I had Mr. Chili who you seen on my other videos and another dog they, these two dogs are the world's busiest sticky beaks. Any noise outside, they'd be out there having a look, seeing what was going on. Never once did these two dogs ever go outside for the footsteps or the scraping up and down the side of the house. Not once. It was, that was really strange, I always thought. And then this is the one that's got me baffled and I so wish at the time I had have taken more notice. This is before I saw the Yowie. 
I was at home this day. I had my mum living with me. She was um, sick and I was looking after her and she'd become quite ill and she had real trouble communicating. But anyway, she ended up getting my attention and calling me into, into the lounge room. And from the lounge room, she said that she could see out the kitchen window, a hairy man staring at her, looking through the window. And I, it was, she got it out in broken English sort of thing because she had trouble speaking. And I went outside, I did a couple of laps around the house. I looked, went up onto the street. There was no cars in the street or anyone around. I would have heard a car come up, up the road anyway, but there was definitely nothing around the house. And I just assumed at the time, because I hadn't seen the Yowie, and it never, it never even occurred to me that the hairy man that she saw could have been a Yowie. And I just assumed she might've been hallucinating. And I so wish I had done more investigation at the time, but because she was sick, I just thought she was hallucinating and I just wrote it off as that. And it, that's always bugged me. And then we'll get to the last thing, what I saw. I love to say I saw this, that and the other, and I could explain it in detail, but the reality was it was dark outside. I only had the contrast of the, a lighter horizon against what went past the window. It was on two legs. It was tall. It was thick. It was big, thick, and it just went past. And it was definitely something huge, absolutely huge. And it was taller than the window, so I couldn't see the top of it. And I just knew what it was the minute I saw it. So that's all I can really add to that story. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the first one. And I'll, I'll get back to you real soon. See you later. Bye.